What is going on, y'all, man? It's official Dre Live, dude. Now, 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 now. If you can read the title, if you've seen the title, bro, you already know what it is. You already know how we do this, bro. Well, actually, this is my first movie review. And obviously, I think it would be good enough. And I thought it was good enough, honestly, to talk about Space Jam. You feel me, dog? Obviously, there's going to be spoilers if you have not seen the movie yet. And if you plan on seeing the movie... I, I wouldn't watch this video to be honest with you, but it's your life. You can do whatever you want. But me, man, I'm going to stop talking right now. You feel me? What's good with y'all? You feel me? You like the content come through. Feel me, dog? All we do is wear bonnets and make content, bro. But anyways, bro, let's get into it like how we normally do. Anyways, dog, you feel me, man? I'm going to have it playing in the background just a little bit. You feel me? Honestly, man, the movie... The movie, like I said, there was going to be spoilers in this movie. So, I'm going to start off in the beginning. Honestly, in the beginning, dude, you, like, you can already tell it's, like, it's going to be one of those kinds of movies. Because, first of all, no basketball player can act. You feel me? And any movie that you watch with a basketball player, KD, Michael Jordan, LeBron, etc., so forth, you can tell, like, that they can't act. You feel me, dog? But it's like, they do their best. And you feel me? And that's all you can really ask for when it comes down to this type of stuff. But off the get-go, LeBron does not get scared. So it's hard for LeBron to act scared, bro. And you can really tell that LeBron was reading off of a script, bro. Like, like everything kind of felt, you hear me? It kind of felt like, like, you feel me, like, stuck. You feel me? Stuck in motion. You feel me? But that's okay. That's okay. LeBron is not an actor. LeBron hoops. LeBron drops people off. You feel me, dog? So, I, I, you get to see the little kid. And you get to see uh, supposedly Bronny and everything. You get to see LeBron's whole family. Not about to hold you. Whoever that uh, the actor that played his wife, bro. You, you know, you know, you know. She, you, you know, get the bee's knees. You, you, you know, she get one of those. You know what I mean, man? She was a great actor for her little part, for her little roles, and I like how LeBron kept it very professional. You feel me? Um, there's a scene where LeBron puts on his do rag in 0.2 seconds, bro, and it's the funniest thing in the world, bro. Honestly, my suggestion when watching this movie is watch it with somebody, at least one to two people, bro. You're gonna have a blast. This is a good movie, bro. Yeah, feel me, man. Obviously, it reminds me like of my, you know, my family and everything, because you got the big brother, and then you got the little brother that like to play the game, bro, the little bro like to play the game, and the other one was focused on hooping, you feel me, dog, the intro and everything to the movie, you know, getting you riled up, because you know, Space Jam 2, all of LeBron's highlights and everything, it's good, the thing is, though, the end highlight, end highlight, it starts counting down as a buzzer beater, but really, it was like a first quarter fadeaway jump shot that LeBron took and like he he took it like in the first quarter of a game but they counted it as like a buzzer that whole time though you 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 really you really could feel it bro you could you could feel like like the Looney Tune characters and everything i forgot the actor's name but he basically was the black iron man he was in that jam and i'm not about to hold you bro they they He's hilarious because when he come onto the screen, I'm not going to say it, bro. I'm not going to say it, but when he came onto the screen, bro, there was immediate cap. All right? Immediate cap, bro. Not not cap, bro. Straight up cap, my boy. But it's okay. It's funny, man. There was a few surprise appearances that I didn't even think would be in Space Jam. And it's kind of, it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of weird in a sense, like, Cause I didn't even think like these characters would appear in the movie, but they did appear because, and, and it kind of made sense for what they were trying to do and what they were trying to go for. I'm not trying to put too many spoilers in here, but then again, this is a movie review. You feel me dog? Cause I have seen the movie. Um, I'm going to fast forward into about midway through the movie where LeBron is talking to his son about hooping, bruh, and how his son wants to give up on hooping and how he wants to do the video game thing. And I'm not about to hold you. This is somewhat like a real world situation, dog. The thing is, though, it felt so 
stiff. That was the word I was looking for, bro. Stiff, man. That man, LeBron, you feel me, was over there kind of like some of the scenes just didn't feel too authentic. But I'm over here like LeBron is not an actor, bro. So I gave him leeway. And that was for like the vast majority of the scenes, man. It's going to get into a scene where uh, they bring him a deal and he rejects the deal. And, and the dude... The black Iron Man dude starts acting like a husband, you feel me? He starts acting like a pre-pubescent teen that just got rejected for the first time, you feel me, dog? And then, what's the name? Through all that, bro, through all of that, you know LeBron don't be feeling it. LeBron don't feel what he don't be feeling, but his son had to say, his son stormed off. His son stormed off, obviously, as a good father. He's going to chase after his son. And that's where we get really into the nitty gritty, you feel me, bro, of this movie. That's what we really get into it, you feel me? Man, anyways, bro, like I was saying, bro, LeBron, I don't even really remember too much of what I was saying, to be honest. Other than him and his son talking, and, you know, the scene's not being too authentic because they felt stiff and how LeBron really does not get scared or it's hard for him to it's hard for him to act scared you feel me dog cause you know that, that's that's God that's a little God you know little GM the man the myth himself you feel me dog but when it comes into it when it gets really into it I'm gonna start talking about Bugs Bunny when Bugs Bunny comes in you feel me when LeBron has fully you know been turned into the game when he's fully into the game and everything is definitely lit like i don't even know why they took out like the scene with the skunk but i think it should have just been in the movie but people like cancel culture is so like toxic but they just like it's supposed to be a kids movie but like y'all overthink like the littlest things bro and I, like that probably could have made the movie that much better the scene that we didn't get to see bro could have made the movie that much better but you know it's all it's all good it was still a good movie now when bugs bunny was trying to get the team together i can't lie to you bugs bunny is jai tough for the way he got the team together bro you feel me you know they use marvin the martian as a punching bag you feel me as they normally do as they normally do and everything was lit the thing is it's like i don't know it's like something from my childhood it's like i could tell the voices like when I can really tell somebody's voice, it's, like, it, it's kind of different to me because I'm like, dang, bro, it's just not the same. Like, the original Bugs, not the original, the original um, Piggy, you know, that's that's not, you know, the voice of uh, uh, Bugs Bunny's girlfriend or whoever she is, bro. You feel me, man? Like, oh my God, boy, Zendaya was in, oh, my God. God, but when they got Zendaya on this show, I can't lie. That's when the movie became lit. All right, as soon like you might as well skip the whole movie until they get Zendaya. Like, but you gotta see how they got Zendaya. You feel me? Like, uh, the female bunny. I keep forgetting her name. Layla, Lola. You feel me, dog? One, as soon as they get her on that jump, boy, that's when you really start watching. That's when you really get into it. I'm not gonna say anything about the game. The reason why I'm not going to say anything about the game is because, honestly, you would have to just be there to understand it. Because if I were to just say it out my mouth right now, it would sound kind of stupid. Not going to lie to you. But, but, <laughs> that jump was lit. But that little bro, little bro who, quote, made the game and, quote, did all these scanning things with these characters. Man, I'm not going to go too far into it, but just... Just trust and believe, bro. Watch the movie, man. Honestly, my official rating for this movie, as I wrap this up, my official rating for this movie is definitely a seven and a half. You feel me? Out of ten. The reason why? Because he's a basketball player. You feel me, dog? So he doesn't act. You feel me? In certain scenes where you can easily tell, um, he, he's not an actor. Like you, you can easily tell he's not an actor. In, in some scenes, bro. You know, they have to have their cringy dad jokes. They have to have, you know, certain stuff like that. The comedy within that, I give that rating about a good 7 out of 10. Because the comedy in that joke, I'm not about to hold you. That jump was kind of funny at some parts. I can't lie to you. 
in terms of watching a full movie through the reason why i say watch it with people and do not watch it by yourself is because i'm not about to hold you bro dre closed his eyes i'm i was laid up fan i was laid up like these you feel me i closed my eyes bro my, I was so quiet at one point, my mans had to call me, but I didn't miss nothing important. And that's also another thing. So the movie overall, overall, the movie is a cool seven and a half, low eight out of 10, bro. Cause LeBron actually did a good job. The re, um, the reappearance of certain characters, the, um, the segues were good. The transitions were fairly decent. The, um, uh, what's the name? Uh, dang, what is it called? Where they, um, when the actors say something about their past, uh, you know, or bringing up something from the past and the present, you know, stuff like that. It's, it was all good, bro. So, do I recommend you watch this movie? Yes. But did you just catch, like, about 72% of the spoilers? Indeed. Anyways, bro, if y'all want me to make more videos like these, dog, movie reviews, and be on time and be on top of this type of stuff, man, subscribe to the channel if you're new, turn on notifications, you feel me, dog? But you feel me, man? I'm not going to say too much else other than, other than, uh, uh, let me find it. Uh, I'm too smooth. I'm too smooth. Uh, uh, what? Slow, slow, slow. Until next time, bro.